Hey, Gratuitous here from itsgratuitous.com. In this video, I wanna share how I've set up Flex with my M Audio Oxygen Pro FL Studio template for this hands-on drum pad navigation, okay? So I'm just gonna close Flex and we can open that with our drum pad. So first of all, if the plugin is already opened, we can open it with the drum pad. Now, if you wanna use the drum pads to navigate presets, you have to make sure a line is there or you can just use your knob and it will automatically choose the next preset. But if you want to use the drum pad workflow here, you can see you, you can go up and down presets and you can select whatever preset you want. So this top one goes to the packs, the one on the right goes to the presets. So packs, presets. You can see I can go down to let's say pianos, come back to the presets, you can select whatever one you want. Okay, go down. Okay, go back to let's say our packs, go down, here's some strings. So some of the presets in uh, Flex, you gotta make sure you're in the right octave range. So I can go up and down my octaves. Okay, go change whatever we want. Okay, so for the hands-on, so how I have this set up, is we have different banks on the Oxygen Pro. And the first bank is gonna do all your, your macros, okay? So, you know, as you can see, dark, pulsar, all that kind of stuff, okay? Then when we go to the next bank, it's gonna do your filter envelope, all right? So attack, hold, decay, sustain, release. It will do all of these, all right? I don't have this set up too intense because for the most part, I really don't use hands-on for that kind of stuff. Um, I just like being able to quickly change presets and I'll share one thing near the end of this video, which is really, really important for, doesn't matter what generator you're in, I have set this up for my supported generators and I'll explain that in just a moment. Okay, so for the next bank, we um, that one is your volume envelopes. That is all I've set up with the um, knobs in Flex, okay? So bank one does all your macros, bank two does your filter envelope, bank three does your volume envelope. Now, what I wanna share here is when you're in bank one, the slider does the out. Okay, so you can see this right here. And this is really important for a really fast workflow. So again, let's just go to all of our presets. I'll just go to, let's say, pianos, I'll select something. Again, you can do it off the drum pads. I'm just doing it quick um, for the mouse for this video. So sometimes when we have a sound and we're making our beats, for me, I always like to be able to change, uh, change my volume from right here, all right? Go up a little bit, let's say. A lot of times presets aren't at the same volume. You know, every generator is different, but a lot of times like they could be a little quieter or a little louder and just having the control to be able to just instantly get your volume set. You don't have to go to your mouse or whatever. And again, you can select your presets off the drum pads, get your sweet spot for your volume and you can just hit record, hit play and you're on your way, okay? So again, quick recap. So for flex, we can change presets off of the knob, but it changes the next preset. If the line is there, because again, if we open up Flex by, you know, by default, the line is not there, just click into packs and then you can see the line, then you can navigate all your stuff. So the drum pads allows you, allows you to navigate without selecting and then you get to choose when you want to select. And you can go to your packs, you go to your presets. Bank one, so again, we have our different banks. And when you switch banks, again, that is changing your knobs. It's also changing your sliders. So that's why I said you have to go to bank one to do your main volume you can see right here, right? So again, bank one is all the macros. So change them, right? Bank two is your filter envelope. Bank three is your volume envelope. And that's how I set up flex. But like I said, when I'm making beats, for the most part, I just wanna be able to quickly select presets. And the volume one is like the most important for me for the, just like that fast workflow. But that is how I set up flex with my M Audio Oxygen Pro FL Studio template. If you wanna learn more about it, just visit itsgratuitous.com. And if you have any questions, you can send me an email at hi at itsgratuitous.com. Hope you enjoy your M Audio Oxygen Pro experience in FL Studio and reach out anytime.